Well, hello there, and we're back. Today, we're going to talk about 2020 practice BC4. Now, this is a problem that starts with a function here, 2 natural log x minus 3, and a point. The point is x equals 4. And when we plug in 4, you good pre-calculus students all remember that we will get 0, because the natural log of 1 is 0. So we know this is the point we're starting at here, 4 comma 0. Now, this problem involves a tangent line, an Euler's method, and a Taylor series, among other things. And what do all of those things have in common? Only the most important concept in all of calculus, the tangent line. Okay, so let's see how we use the tangent line to help us with this entire problem. In part A, we're asked to find the equation of the tangent at x equals 4 and use it to approximate 4.2. So we will calculate f prime of x and get 2 over x minus 3. And we know that when x equals 4, this is 2. So our tangent here becomes y minus 0, 2 times x minus 4. At 4.2, we have y minus 0 equals 2 times 0.2, or y equals 0.4. So we say this is approximately equal to f of 4.2. Okay? That's it. That's the tangent line. And what's cool here again, let's not lose sight of the big picture. The tangent line approximates the function four x values very close to the point of tangency. Oh, point of tangency is four. 4.2 is what we would consider very close. So there's our tangent approximation. Now, is this an over approximation or under approximation? Hmm, sounds like a problem for the second derivative. Let's take a look. If we're concave down, the second derivative will be an over approximation. Concave up, second derivative's an under approximation. What do we have here? I don't know. Let's find out. F double prime of x is, well, that's going to be 2 times x minus 3 to the negative 1 power, so that's negative 2, x minus 3, negative 2. So at 4, or specifically at 4.2, either one, we're less than 0. Okay? And f double prime at 4.2 is also going to be less than 0. So let's see. Concave down, tangent line is an over approximation. Therefore, 0.4 will be greater than f of 4.2 because f double prime of 4.2 is less than zero. Concavity and the tangent line. Let's go to part C, Euler's method. Now watch me do here Euler's method. You can do it your way, but I'll show you mine because Euler's method is all about what? The tangent line. So here we go. We'll start at the point 4 comma 0. I've got my derivative up here, 2 times x minus 3. Here's my xy, and here's my equation. Now, we know that this is going to be 2, so this becomes my equation of the tangent line. Now, the AP is very consistent here. These Euler's method problems, two steps, okay? Let's go down here, 4.1. I take that 4.1, plug it into the previous tangent line equation. 4.1 minus 4 is 0.1 times 2, so that's going to be 0.2. Now, I take that point, plug it into my derivative equation. Oh, 4.1 minus 3 is 1.1. This is 2 over 1.1. Now, you can simplify that if you want, but you don't have to. We knew with my new equation, y minus 0.2. 2 over 1.1, x minus 4.1. So 
This is what we have. Now, the next step is 4.2. And that's what we're trying to figure out. So take the 4.2, plug it back into this previous equation. And this is my method for dealing with Euler's method. And it's all about the tangent lines. You don't have to memorize anything. 4.2 minus 4.1 is 0.1. 2 over 1.1 times 0.1 is something. Plus 0.2. That's it. So my answer, 2 over 1.1 times 0.1 plus 0.2. There's your Euler's method value for f of 4.2. Wow. That's pretty cool. And again, approximately equal to f of 4.2. Let's go to part D, third degree Taylor. Huh, Taylor's method, what is that? That's just a fancy way of saying more tangent lines because what's a first degree Taylor? Tangent line! All right, so here we go. All right, are we ready? Let's rock this right out. All right, f of four, f prime of four, x minus four, f double prime of four, two factorial, x minus four squared, f triple prime of four, three factorial, x minus four cubed. And that, my friends, is your third degree Taylor for any function centered at four. Now, all we have to do is figure out those f, f prime, f double prime, and f triple prime values. But we've already done a bunch of them, so we can do this. Let's set it up over here, and let's calculate those values. So here we go. What do we know? We know f of four. Well, we've already calculated that to be zero. What about f prime of four? Well, f prime of four was two over x minus three, remember? That's two. How about f double prime of four? Well, let's see, we calculated that second derivative already. That was negative two x minus three. So that's negative two. Negative two x minus three to the negative two. How about this one? f triple prime of four. Well, if that was negative 2x minus 3 to the negative 2, then triple prime would be 4x minus 3 to the negative 3. So that's going to be 4. And you can calculate those on your own and make sure you can come up with those values. But that's it. And now we plug and chug, and we're done. 0, 2x minus 4, negative 2, 2 factorial, x minus 4 squared, plus 4. 3 factorial, x minus 4 cubed. There's your Taylor series. Oh, you want an approximation at 4.2? I got you right here. 2, 4.2 minus 4. Don't even think. Negative 2 over 2 factorial, 4.2 minus 4 squared. 4 over 3 factorial, 4.2 minus 4 cubed. Yeah, you don't have to simplify. Full credit right there, little bros and so's. Full credit, right? That's all we got to do. All right, and then finally, length of curve. Now, as you recall, length of curve has two formulas. One for parametrically defined functions and one for functionally defined functions. But guess what? There's no parametrics on this year's exam. So we're dealing, dealing just with x comma y. Do you remember the general formula? Say it with me. Integral a to b, root one plus dy dx squared dx. And in, so in this case, we're gonna go integral four to 4.2, root one plus, what was that derivative again? Oh yeah, two over x minus three squared dx, length of curve. Go home, we're done. The key to this problem is understanding the tangent line and its relationship to a tangent approximation, 
an over or an under, Euler's method, and Taylor series. It's a beautiful thing. Have a great time, and I'll see you next time.